Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here with a video, a review on the Blue Phone, a Blue A4 2019. This is a Android 8.1 Oreo Go edition. And I'm currently running a malware scan just to be sure that there's nothing malicious preloaded on here. Um... A long time ago, there was an incident involving blue phones having preloaded malware on here that would send data back to a server in China, but that was a security breach that was done on, that was discovered by Blue, where someone else breached Blue's devices with malware that would send data back to the servers in China. That was a long time ago, I saw a video about that by Android Authority. But right now I'm in the middle of looking at that, looking into to see if this does have any of that. This is the phone. There's no hardly any too much bloatware on here. The only bloatware I found was Opera Mini, Candy Crush, Coin Rush, a game, and then a game hub on here. That's the only bloatware I found. But other than that, you have phone, sound recorder, settings, play store. Photos, there's the full version of YouTube, not YouTube Go on some other phones. There's the music app, which is a built-in music player. There's no Google Play Music on here. But there's the FM radio, Gmail Go, Google Go. There's the full version of files, and there's Assistant Go. These are what This is what you see here. What you see is what you get with this particular device. So... Here it all is. What's different with this one is you've got an audio profile right here, which is rare. You've got a scheduled power on, power off, which is rare. And then it is actually unlocked. So I have my Metro by T-Mobile SIM card in here and it registers it automatically. And it also supports mobile hotspot and tethering even though it will not work on non-metro phones but it works on this one because my mom has a $60 plan with 15 gigs of high speed hotspot and it is included with her plan so it automatically works without any problems emergency broadcasts it is able to receive wireless emergency alerts now the problem with this is that you won't get LTE you only get 4G on here hold on let me t show you what i mean the network type will be mainly just 4g on here you won't have any lte so if i can scroll access point names there's already the apn that is already loaded on here directly it immediately loads it without any con any adjustments there's only 2G, 3G, and 4G. There's only the 2G connection, 3G, 4G, and there's 2G, 3G, 4G network types. There's no LTE here on some other phones. My Hot Pepper Poblano VLE5 phone is from Q-Link Wireless. That is a CDMA phone that uses MEID, not IMEI. To help explain it, IMEI is for phones that are GSM, MEID is for phones that are CDMA, that are Code Division Multiple Access. Basically, a CDMA phone uses MEID serial number to identify the device and to activate it. The example of this is where if you get a CDMA phone, it's either CDMA Verizon or CDMA Sprint in the U.S., it would just have a serial number, a series of numbers, but it would have MEID instead of IMEI. Then to activate a Verizon phone, you would dial star 228 to trigger over-the-air programming through Verizon. Verizon used to use an, a hands-free over-the-air activation method called star 228 to a point where you would automatically be able to activate the phone over the network. Just by dialing in star 228, then it would say welcome to over the air programming and it would give you a simplified automated system menu for users to navigate to activate the phone Verizon phone or to program roaming capabilities or update 
roaming capabilities on the phone over the air directly to the tower, but it's by dialing the star 228 code on Verizon. Most nowadays, most phones are now IMEI GSM, and here comes 5G, which obviously there are conspiracy theories surrounding 5G causing coronavirus, but that's not true. I want to re reiterate that the conspiracy theory around 5G causing COVID-19 known as the coronavirus is not true. I've seen online in the UK that some cell towers were set on fire. Um... Those, the conspiracy theories are going to start to come out about 5G causing COVID-19, which is completely false. Um, I know this for a fact because the COVID-19 started in Wuhan wet, wet market where they have live exotic animals. Animals like bats, mainly animals you normally would not even eat. Um, the animals normally people would eat with cow, chicken things like that, pork and beef, but in Wuhan, China, it's all bats, civets, or pangolins, like exotic animals that is consumed in Wuhan, China, to a point where this whole COVID-19 started to take place up there due to the unsanitary markets up in China, in the Wuhan province is where it originally started. But back to the review of this phone. This phone has the blue logo at the top left, this phone has a long start start and shutdown sequence, which is very lengthy. And now, this is the Android 8.1 Oreo, because you got to use the swipe up menu. I'll show you the system software version. So we do system, about device, right there is Android 8.1, if I tap. There it is, it's the Android Oreo logo. Android 8. There's supposed to be like a, there's a flappy bird, or no it is not. There's an Android octopus here you can drag around. But in Android 7, or in Android Nougat and Android Marshmallow, you would have like a little Android flappy bird game hidden as the Easter egg in it. Now this is what it looks like. You can see that there's the sound recorder. Opera Mini is already preloaded by default for this particular phone and other blue phones like this one. There's the FM radio. There's the Gmail Go has already shown. But what's weird is that there's a music player, but Google Play Music is not even featured in here, which is very, very weird. If we launch back Malwarebytes, if we jump back over to it, It says, okay, I'm having it hooked to Wi-Fi. This uses Wi-Fi 2.4G. There is no 5G Wi-Fi in here. And it says, last device scan. Stop. I got to update the database thing since it says outdated. It's weird that it says it's outdated. Hold on. There's Malwarebytes Premium, which offers extra protection, but unfortunately you had to pay to get the premium version. This is the premium setting only. Auto updates enabled. Okay, memory caching. So we'll turn that off. I can't really configure the update for some strange reason it just won't let me do that it will not update itself but it seems to be that there's no malware on here I'm in the middle of trying to update the database signatures for Malwarebytes to see if there's anything preloaded that's malicious, but it seems to not want to do that. Um, I did turn memory caching off since this does use Android Oreo Go version 8.1. Android Oreo Go is a lightweight version of Android that runs on 
Android devices with at least 512 megs of RAM or close to a gig of RAM. My hot pepper poblano phone I have in my home here and here has at least a gig of RAM, but some of that RAM is at least 900 megs for the hot pepper poblano VLE5. This one uses at least 512 megs of RAM, which is why it has to use Android Go. The, the regular full version of Android will not work at all in this thing due to the low RAM constraints. And the micro USB ports at the top there is a headphone jack. This comes with a clear case already. Clear case. It's a five megapixel five megapixel camera with a LED flash. There's the speaker right down there. It is at least it's at most made by Blue Products Inc. and it's designed in Miami. It, it's designed in Miami, Florida, but it's actually made in China. Your volume and power are on the left side of the unit, unlike other phones that you position to the right. The bottom is your mic slot. And this camera is right here on the front, the selfie camera, but there's no flash on the front, period, due to the phone design. Um, other than that, all I want to say is this is the review. What came in the box was a charger, a wall charger only, no USB wall charging adapter. It just came with a micro USB charging adapter only. It came with, at most, a clear case included, which, hold on, hold on, another incoming call, hold on.